Precious friends, precious family, how are you doing today? God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. I thank and praise God for this wonderful opportunity to share God's word with you even today. Our God is a good God. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8, we read like this. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. You got it? God says that the devil is walking around looking for whom he can swallow. You got it? So devil is real. He is like a roaring lion. He is walking around to swallow us, to devour us. That's what the word says. That's what God says. So he's asking us to be vigilant. Asking us to be sober. You got it? Brother, sister, friends, family, God loves you. In the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, we read like this. The thief comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I come, Jesus says, I come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly you see God says that the thief comes the devil other name for devil is thief the devil comes to steal kill destroy these are the nature of devil these are the activities of devil the people who follow the devil will be like this as well God says that they will be stealing they will be killing they will be destroying in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 42 to 44, we read like this. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me, but I proceed forth and come from God. Neither came I of myself, that God sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word, you are of your father the devil and the lusts of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. You see, God says that, Jesus says that, devil is a liar and a father of it. Father of lies means what? He is the one who produces, who gives birth to lies. So when somebody is lying means it is not coming from them. It is coming from the devil. You know who is in them. You got it? You got it simple. That's what the word says. And God says he is a murderer from the beginning. You know what happened in the Garden of Eden? How he fooled evil in Adam and how death walked inside. My friend, my sister, my brother, God loves you. God is teaching you. God is giving you wisdom. God is waking you up. See, so far we have seen five nature or the qualities of the devil. Devil is a stealer. Devil is a killer. Devil is a destroyer. Now God says in John 8, 42 to 44, we have found that he is a murderer from the beginning. Devil is a murderer and he is a liar and father of lies. In the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 3, we, lay, we read like this. When the tempter came to Jesus, the devil, when the tempter came to Jesus, he said, If you be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But Jesus answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You see? devil has got another name tempter he will tempt you he came to tempt Jesus himself he will cause you to make you to doubt the word of God he will cause you to make you to doubt the Bible and he was trying to do that and Jesus said it is written so what does it mean my brother my sister my friend we must know the Bible in and out then only we will be able to tell the devil whenever he comes to tempt us we will be in a position to say it is written it is written it is written because 
whatever is written is written god cannot change his word god cannot change himself so we need to change ourselves and again we, here we see that devil is a tempter in the book of sam 107 verse 20 we read that god sent his word other name for jesus is word and that's what we read in the book of john chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god and the word became flesh that is jesus that is jesus and god god says in the book of sam 107 verse 20 god sent his word god sent jesus and healed them and delivered them from their destructions you see jesus can and jesus will heal us and he can and he will deliver us from destructions that's what the word says and in the book of revelation chapter 12 was 9 to 10 we read like this and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent the serpent which fooled which deceived eve adam and eve adam and uh, eve in the garden of eden god talks about that and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceives the whole world you see the devil deceives the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our god and the power of his christ for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our god day and night you see god talks about two nature of the devil he here he says devil is a deceiver and devil is a accuser and the bible says he says that devil is accusing the children of god 24/7 day and night devil goes to the presence of god and tells he is doing this she is doing this they are doing like this like this like this he is accusing and again the good news is this in first john chapter 2 verse 1 we read that jesus is our advocate he is at the right hand side of the father and he is our advocate okay here we saw that devil is a deceiver and an accuser in the book of john chapter 2 in the book of james chapter 2 verse 19 we read like this you believe that god is one well and good god is telling us you believe that god is one well and good even the demons believe and they tremble with fear you got it you see most of most of the mankind the people the human beings we don't believe in god but the devil believes in god not only that he trembles before him with fear you got it my brother my sister my friend devil is real wake up wake up wake up turn to god believe in jesus accept him as your lord and savior and follow the bible for your own good god is telling you in the book of acts chapter 19 was 11 through 16 we read like this and god wrought special miracles by the hands of paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs and aprons and the diseases departed from them and evil spirits went out of them then certain of the vagabond jews exorcists took upon to call over them which had evil spirits the name of lord jesus saying we adjure you by jesus whom paul preaches and there were seven sons of one skewa a jew and chief of the priests which did so and the evil spirit answered and said jesus i know and paul i know but who are you who are all of you the devil questioned those seven folks and the man in whom the evil spirit was was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded you see devil is real devil is fierce devil is dangerous and these people they were seeing how 
Paul was doing miracles, how he was casting out the demons and he, how he was walking in power, doing miracles, signs and miracles were wrought through Paul. God did great miracles using Paul, special miracles the Bible says using Paul because Paul was full of the Spirit. Paul was obeying God. Paul was believing God. Paul was operating for, for God. Paul was serving God and God filled him with power, filled him with the Holy Spirit. And these people, they wanted to mimic, they wanted to imitate Paul. And they said, we command you to leave these people in the name of Jesus whom the Paul preaches. And the devil answered, I know Paul, I know Jesus, but who are you? And it hurt them, it wounded them, and it made them naked, and they ran away. What does it mean? My brother, my sister, my friend, devil is real. Not just that, when you have Jesus in you, when you have the Holy Spirit in you, when you believe this Jesus, when you receive this Jesus, when you live for him according to the Bible, you too can be like Paul. You got it? That's, that's, that's the thing. We cannot take the name of Jesus in vain. We know everyone cannot take the name of Jesus. You should have a relationship with Jesus in order to take his name. Then only that will work. Here these people, they tried to imitate Paul and they were wounded. They were made naked and they were chased away. You got it? devil is real. In the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse 28 to 29 we read like this. And when Jesus was come to the other side into the country of the Gerganeses, there met him two possessed with the evil spirits coming out of the tombs exceeding fears so that no man might pass through that way. And behold they cried out what have we to do with you? Jesus, you son of God, are you come here to torment us before time? You see, in Israel, there was a place called Gergesenus, where two people who were possessed with the evil spirits, with the demons, they were coming out. They met Jesus on the way and they were crying out, they were telling, you came to us before time to torment us. And the demons were testifying Jesus as son of God. You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend, you do not know who you are. We do not know who we are. But the devil can recognize the anointing on us. The devil can recognize that we follow Jesus. That is the reason we saw that. Paul, I know Jesus, I know who you are. The devil knows who we are. We cannot fool around with God. We cannot fool around with the devil as well. So you need to live a holy life. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. In the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 17 through 19, we read like this. And the 70 returned again with joy. 70, the disciples of Jesus, they returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us. They obey us through your name. And he, Jesus, said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing shall be by any means hurt you. You see, the disciples of Jesus, the true Christians, the Christ followers, they came and said, Lord, even the demons, the devils obey us. When we use your name, when we say Jesus in Jesus' names, depart, they depart. And Jesus said, said to them, I saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. And Jesus, then he gives them power. Behold, I give unto you power to tread down serpents and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He gave them power against serpents and scorpions, which is nothing but the works of the devil. That's what we read in the book of Numbers chapter 23 verse 23. It is nothing but the works of the devil. 
scorpions devil is like snake devil is like scorpion and god gave them power against that my brother my sister my friend devil is real if you want to have power over the devil only by accepting this lord jesus as your personal savior and following him sincerely then only you will be able to withstand and overcome the power of the evil in the book of matthew chapter 17 verse 21 we do like this nevertheless this kind of devil goes not out but by prayer and fasting and there came a time the disciples of jesus returned to jesus saying that there was an evil spirit they could not cast it out and jesus cast, cast it out and after that those disciples were asking lord tell us why we couldn't do that and jesus was telling this kind of devil goes not out but by prayer and fasting my brother my sister my friend not just following jesus is enough we need to pray we need to fast and we need to live a holy life that's what the word says and see in the book of matthew chapter 25 verse 41 we read like this then god will also say unto them on the left left hand side depart from me you cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels my brother my sister my friend god prepared the hell for devil and his followers and his agents and, and his angels not for christ followers god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whosoever believes in him shall not have shall not perish but should have everlasting life john chapter 3 verse 16 god loves us always remember god is for us devil is against us devil is waiting to devour us waiting to swallow us waiting to steal us kill us destroy us waiting to deceive us waiting to accuse us you got it my brother he is waiting to tempt us i would like to tell you the characters or the nature of the devil's devil once again devil steals devil kills devil destroys devil murders devil lies devil tempts devil deceives devil accuses you got it these are all the qualities these are all the natures of the devil my brother my sister my friend wherever you see this thing it is not from god always remember that always remember that. in case if you are operating like this check yourself check yourself though you might call yourself a christian check yourself if you are stealing if you are killing things if you are killing relationships if you are killing things if you are destroying if you are murdering people through your words people we can murder people through our words you got it if you are murdering if you are lying if you are tempting if you are deceiving if you are accusing god says that you are not in him you got it and god says that hell is made for devil and his followers that's what we read in matthew 25 verse 41 my brother my sister my friend wake up devil is real satan is real evil spirits are real in order to chase them out in order to walk away from them in order to have power over them in order to overcome them you need to be in the lord my brother my sister my friend if you have not received this jesus as your personal savior yet take the decision today take the decision today i am telling you that only will take you to heaven if not be informed that is what the word says you are heading towards hell simple 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 god cannot lie god said it god will do it and god gives an opportunity for you to accept this jesus as your lord and savior so that you can come out of all these darkness and you will have power to cast out demons you got it demons are subject to obey in jesus name and you should have 
a relationship with this Jesus in order to use that name. You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend, devil is waiting to take your life. Jesus is waiting to give you life. Jesus came and gave his very life on the cross of Calvary. That is the love of God. But devil is waiting to destroy you. God wants to give you eternal life through Jesus. My brother, my sister, my friend, receive this Jesus as your personal savior today. That's what we read in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 9. If you just believe in your heart that Jesus was raised from the dead by God and if you confess that with your mouth and say that Jesus is your Lord, you'll be saved instantly, instantly, instantly. You don't have to wait. You don't have to do anything. Wherever you are now, you can do that. And then go to a Bible-believing church and take immersion baptism. Immersion baptism. That's what the Bible says. That's what we read in Acts chapter 2 verse 38. God says, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. Your sins will be forgiven and then you can receive the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will lead you into all the truth. Then start going to a Bible-believing church. Follow the Bible. Stand until the end for God, for Jesus. Live a holy life. Then you too will walk into heaven. In heaven, there won't be tears. There won't be sorrows. There won't be pains. There won't be death. In hell, there will be only wailing and gnashing of teeth. My brother, the choice is yours. God loves you. My sister, my friend, my family, God loves you. The choice, choice is yours. Do it today because you never know when you may lose this opportunity to accept this Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Once dead, we cannot make any changes to our life. You got it? God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah.